A couple other final mentions as far as forms are concerned are our submit button down here does not have to be a submit button that sends the data for processing. If we click on it, we can change the name to whatever we want. We could change it to continue. Did I spell that right? Like so. So it could be whatever we want. Or execute. Reminds me of lost. <laughs> on the other hand, it doesn't have to be, see we had it on submit actually. I had switched it to reset. But this is our other option, reset. It doesn't have to be a button that submits all this data for processing. It can be a reset button. So we'd have to pick that and then we could look, pick something that corresponds to reset like clear. And then you go like that. So now, if we control S, save it, hit F12 to preview. And now if we enter data, so John Smith on company, I'm just making stuff up, and you've entered all this data in, all right? If we want to clear it, you just hit the clear button, and bam, everything's cleared. So it doesn't have to be a submit button. Which brings me, though, to the point that this training doesn't actually cover the actual processing of the data for the form, but basically how to set it up the form in preparation for processing. So if you want to know exactly how um, how to send it for processing when you hit the submit button, read up under help, Dreamweaver help, and then do a search for building. Because what you're looking for is building applications visually. And that'll show you how, how to do the actual processing of the form data. So there it is. We've prepared this form for actual processing, and you know most of, most of the important pieces of it.